Good morning. Welcome to OG Foundation, capital of the sovereign state of Lodium. I'm Sovereign Non of Lodium. And the project this week is extending this insulation plane there this way. And then adding some kind of like structural ferro cement elements on top. I think today I'm going to be doing aircrete in this corner here because it's packed out with insulation and last week I plugged the drain down there so I should be able to put more insulation in there and then pour air crate in there and then I can close that up and proceed with this insulation plane and then the second part is down here doing an umbrella insulation project so I'm widening that to uh, the full width of this panel right there so the whole thing will be that wide then I'll just have to add more remesh, but I don't know if I'll get to that today. Start off up here, and then if it gets too hot, I'll work down there. And the kids will hedge the trees. So this is exciting for me, though it'll be mundane to most people. But I'm out of water in the other water reserve. It's been dry, and I need to keep doing mortar. So I'm pumping water out from this water supply to get it over there. And I'll have to get a dish for these boys too. So I just mixed the first uh, tank full of water and soap into there. And it's gonna take me two. And each one I put like just under a third of a cup of this Drexel solution in, which I just ordered another gallon and it was $50 for one gallon. So I prepped the hole with a bit of water to reduce the loss of the bubbles, touching dry surfaces. And I got the one drain that wasn't already sort of plugged, foamed earlier. So I'm thinking this is going to eat the whole batch. We'll see. The holes aren't actually very big, so. Side too. Oh, I didn't prep that side with water. It doesn't seem to be finding its way through the holes. I think I packed it too tight with the styrofoam. So a bit of an error here. I should have sealed that with foam. I had it just like plugged with mortar and it's not totally watertight. So the air crate, which has the, the foam is like a dispersant, finds the cracks, is slowly seeping through in the bottom. So that's kind of like one of the worst things that can happen in a form for air crate because nothing can really set above it because everything's like slowly moving from like a slow drip. So I tried to add some foam right now and that might have some effectiveness, but it's likely this will droop a bit. But also less of it got down in there than I expected. So, I mean, I did pack it pretty solidly. So uh, I doubt that much will be lost and I don't think I'll have to do another one. So I'll just carry on and keep doing insulation blocks up here. I think I'm gonna have to move those panels which I recently foamed in, but that's the beauty of spray foam. Really easy to just pull it right off, but it's still sturdy to hold it in place when you need it. This is it. I made a bit more progress up top, but it's getting really hot up there. So now I'm working on this. I got the 
the end piece up to the end corner here. Uh, so I'm about to film this into place, then I just need to fill that triangular gap and continue that kind of little ramp mortar thing there. And then this will be good. And then I've just got a piece in the length of that and the end piece there. And then this will be ready for more remesh and more mortar. Wednesday night and it looks like little Boogie is sitting on some eggs. We'll see how well she does. So just about noon on Thursday and I've got this good enough for two sheets of remesh to be prepped. So I am going to go make some mortar and get one batch of mortar on these two sheets of remesh before I pivot to probably working down there because it'll be, it'll be getting hot. So right after I finished carrying the batch of mortar up and applying it over these two sheets of remesh, the goats came up and contributed. I got two more pieces of remesh and one more batch of mortar on over here. But I can't use the stairs anymore because now the remesh is jutting out. But I gotta wait for this to dry before bending the remesh and cutting it. And the goats ran all over it. But it'll be alright. Now back to the umbrella insulation. And then over here on the umbrella insulation, I've got it finished enough to get the next three pieces of remesh on. And I think that'll just be one batch of mortar as well. Friday morning, and a major design decision has been made. There will be a 20-foot Ferris Man Bond beam there. And that will determine so many things afterwards. But now that I have the line... I'm going to put the rebar that I have in, staple lath up, and then in the next batch of mortar, which I do, so I've got three, or no, two pieces of remesh left up here. So then once I prep that, I need to finish prepping enough foam here to get the next two pieces of remesh. And then in that next batch of mortar, I'll get an anchor on this, and then uh, more over there. So I'll give you a shot after all that is... Probably prepped and ready for mortar. So here's the bond beam after prep. Three pieces of lath, five pieces of rebar. I'm actually short a piece or two of rebar uh, for the top line. So on this side, there's a top line that goes like to right there-ish. Uh, so I left the lath loose on top so that I can put two more pieces of rebar in after I get them. But I've got enough uh, on there now where I can anchor all the lath in anchor the rebar into the lath on that part where the form is and uh, get a good start on everything. This is what I ended up going with with the rebar anchor on this side. So I got one rebar down that like goes the whole length of that. Basically this it's this point right here that I wanted to address for tension for pressure pulling apart right there. So there's one length that spans it and then to get the width across it, that's what the next two are for. So at the point of uh, greatest need of reinforcement, there will be a like 16 to 18 inch uh, bond beam with three pieces of rebar. And then over here, it anchors in in multiple different places into the this remesh and this plane and everything. So it will be able to bear a lot of lateral force and that's partly what this is doing is keeping this uh, structurally reinforcing all of this so that it uh, stays integral so uh, i'm just gonna have some breakfast and unfortunately well, it's been really cool working like this or in a cloud uh, but you can barely see the sun up there but because of all of that cloudiness um, it's not a lot of solar power, but I think there'll be plenty for mortar after breakfast. So I got one batch of mortar on that bond beam there. Took most of the batch. So I didn't end up doing all of the... Boys, that's not good water. Don't drink that. I didn't end up extending the foam because I realized it would take most of the mortar batch just on this bond beam. So I got pretty good coverage because it was thick and just kind of like throwing it on and some places I couldn't get it to connect, but really good coverage I feel with the first batch. 
over there and then over here even better because it doesn't arc as much and it's all I was just was able to get really good coverage over here and then I'm all out of lath so I can't do this last section of rebar but I filled up the last holes over here it's just so hot I got to keep it all from drying too fast but I might even be able to get some more mortar on this today probably a little later in the day but my next batch is going to be going down here so yesterday i was thinking one batch might be, like get coverage and all that but i did one bucket to get the remesh on the wall and then the, the other three buckets only got halfway so i'm going to do another batch and that should get coverage on the rest of this and then we'll see i might do a second batch after that but it's real nice to work down there out of the out of the sun, out of the heat. So here we've got one drain pipe here. And then this right here coming out vertically is a, uh, like a wire, like a conduit type pipe. I'll get cut lower and something. The boys, I was able to cover up all their footprints. Of course, they're still walking all over everything. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how much progress I made on this bond beam just today. I like just threw this whole thing up and then got the mortar on it and now it's like a real thing. And with the bond beam there, basically it encloses the right side and I know like where to send the insulation. It's just like it's bounded on either side now. And now all I have to figure out is like the step pattern. Um, so I'll keep going on this. Make as much progress today as possible. Hey, don't eat that boys. So here's an update on the rainwater aquaponics system here. Good news is that the fish out here have survived at least two of them. Um, but I've got to use this water. So I'm going to catch them and bring them inside. Bad news is of the little four little ones that I got, I put three out here and one I couldn't catch and stayed inside. And that one died, unfortunately. But I'm going to bring these ones back inside and then I can use this water today. So it looks like two out of three made it. And one of them, I guess, didn't make it. And so they survived only on mosquito larvae. I didn't feed them at all for however long they were out here, which was at least a month. And none of this bamboo seems to have rooted, but it doesn't seem to be totally dead. So I'm going to do something with it to try to preserve any life that's there. And then I'm going to uh, make use of this water here. I found fishing number three. It was like hiding in the muck and in the process of separating the mucky water from the clean water, uh, I saw a fish moving in here. So I'll just have to fish, it, fish the fish out of there. And then that's great, all three of them survived, the ones that were out here living on mosquito larvae. And I can only imagine how many mosquito larvae they ate each. On my batch of mortar, and I got a second coat on all that part, just not quite at the end. And I got uh, pretty good coverage on the next two pieces of remesh, but I couldn't get full coverage because I was kind of splitting the batch between that and here. But I'm still happy with that, and I'm going to try to push. Basically, I'm, I need to get this plane extended until it intersects flat with all of this so that when it next rains, the rain's not going to get under there. So basically what that means is I got to move those two solar panels and it's probably like right around here that it hit that it gets level and it'll be some kind of like arc type shape there-ish or somewhere around there that will that will finish that plane and then I'm going to reinforce all of that with remesh and cement and then if I um go over that on the next layer of insulation That'll just be sandwiched between two layers of uh, ferro cement, but I need to keep run this one straight for structural reasons all the way out to here. So I gotta move some stuff. Now we're gonna get one more batch over here, and that should finish up the coverage on the top of this. And it's pretty much all done on the wall. Um, I'll have to do the sides of it and stuff later, but this will be a good kind of ending point probably for now. And then I can move that stuff that I moved off of it, back onto it, and uh, this project will near completion for this phase, but I will have to close off the sides for sure, but that's all I can do with the material I have for right now. 
So after one more batch of mortar, and then I use my last sheet of remesh here, we got coverage on the whole umbrella insulation. There's three fishy survivors. What are you eating there? Oh, what was that? There's a kitty up there. She's camouflaged. Oh. What are you doing on the table there, Bene? Earlier today, been a, or might have been yesterday. Oh, you damn it, Gandalf! Sneaky girl stole my apple from me. <laughs> but I was gonna say, Benny and Kit Kat kissed for the first time. It was sweet. Uh oh, I gotta do policing of the chickens. Sunday morning, got resupplied with cement. Okay, so spray foam and a bunch of remesh and rebar and some more lath to be able to finish up top. And then also the lath is uh, to close up the insulation on the sides of this. But before I close it in, I also want to do some sort of tiling drainage on the side also. But, um, priority is to seal up top so that the rain doesn't get up underneath there so the first step up here for today on Sunday is to get that drain figured out I got the fittings cemented together now I got to cut the drain pipe back and then cut a hole around it to try to access it and get it down deep enough in there and then after that I got to piece together the insulation pieces and my goal is to get that plane flattened and three pieces of remesh on and mortared by the end of the day today. First up the drain. So step one is complete. I cut the pipe as low as I could after widening the hole. And then it was still a little bit tall after I cemented the thing on. So then I cut this much off of the uh, connector that was up at the top. So now it's basically down to a uh, low enough level. So because this has been trimmed, that doesn't sit flush, but it'll, uh, I can always kind of like make that work later on. So it's not perfect, but that's all set. And now just for the, all this foam project. So I pretty much pieced in all the insulation here to get it level. Parts of it are sticking up, but there's pretty much nothing that's too low. So then I'll come through and cut the high pieces, sweep it up and then put the remesh down, and then I'll give you another shot. So this whole section is now prepped with remesh. It's like three and a third sheets. These two sheets bend up on the wall. This one, not so much. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some mortar now. So by Sunday evening, two batches, and I got some coverage on all of that. Got two more pieces of rebar into this bond beam and got that mortared in. And also got a start on that kind of edge there, that remesh and that step kind of tying in those rebar stuff. So this will be great. I can make a lot of progress tomorrow. The fish now have names. This is Rocco. Over here is... Anyways, Ninja and Storm are in there. Storm is red and, er, brown and gold. And Ninja's brown. Storm, Ninja, and Rocco, the fishes. Monday morning. It is a bit of a mess over here and in the whole work zone generally, but I did remove the things that were kind of pinning this down so you can get a better view of it now than before. So it starts to come up on the left side, and the idea is that this is going to structurally reinforce, and then also 
the water hopefully will be able to be sloped to that drain or maybe over to there but one or the other just not getting underneath of it so i've got to wait a little while before i can do mortar and so in the meantime i'm going to start do, uh, figuring out the insulation deck on the top level i think starting from that corner where i've got that one square and then later in the day when there's a bit more sunshine i'll get to the mortar monday morning i got a start on the top deck here while waiting for there to be uh, enough energy for mixing mortar. So, it's going all right, top deck. Also over here, I can demonstrate another wonderful use of the great stuff, gaps and crack foam cans. Look how they just support those forms so well. So I got these ones in here which will kind of I guess make the edge of what this wall will look like I'll definitely have to cut that last one um, but I'll be I figure I'll put the vertical ones up here we'll get a vertical wall here over to a horizontal uh, with maybe like an arch going over and then I aimed that bond beam towards this tire those tires there so I think I'll have to like connect an arch over this arch and do fancy things. But I was thinking I might be able to avoid it. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. Check it out. The project eats all of its own trash. It's a zero waste project. And a lot of the materials are waste. But I'm not going to make waste from the waste. So the little plastic things that protect it, pack under the air, and then the tops and the things, just space fillers. Yeah. Tuesday morning, and the ultimate game of Tetris continues. I also started envisioning how this steel work here will go. So extending this bond beam, and then this will be the vertical wall. And then something like this arch, tall and narrow up there. And then I'll probably enclose between that arch and that arch with the ferro cement wall or something, which will keep snow out from this area where the window is. Uh, <laughs> that's a new idea, but I think that'll make sense. So kind of like foaming up this side wall, trying to use just all these scraps, especially these long triangular ones. And then this is how far I got on the top deck yesterday. So I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna extend this deck all the way past the visor, all the way out to there. But the, the height of it on, underneath changes throughout and I've gotta do more mortar on that before I can, at least one more coat on the bottom before I can run insulation. And I might do it it at an angle or something. I haven't really figured out that line yet. But just gotta keep working on all of this foam. I'm trying to insulate the whole thing. And that'll be uh, the project for next week. But just for today, I don't know what the goal is. I guess probably a batch of mortar and a lot more insulation blocks. We'll see how it goes and then I'll cut edit and post the video kids want to come out of the citadel early in the morning on tuesday there's just enough water in the bottom of this thing to try to try to get some of this bamboo to root then i like it the boys like the higher lookout don't be eating any of that boys Don't eat that. Yeah, eat the leaves, good boys.
here's how this is going. Tying this remesh in from above into the side wall and also into the one that I'm stepping on now because the remeshes will overlap. So hopefully uh, when I do do a batch of mortar later today, I'll probably get some lath on this last section of wall as well. But first foam. This is my current pile of building blocks. Putting it in here one piece at a time. So I prepped this ferro cement kind of transition, whatever you call it, feature thing. That's ready for mortar. And then I also prepped this other ferro cement thing, which connects to the that rebar piece is the last thing I did last season, like at the end of the year, envisioning some kind of future structure. So now I'm anchoring into that you and this like arch type thing and whatever is going on here it's connecting into that so i got enough lath in the remash and there's like a shape there and i'll be able to get a little bit of mortar onto this shape so mortar time so with one batch of mortar i anchored in that rebar which is structurally gonna, and that remesh is gonna allow that tire wall there to bear the weight of most of whatever I'm doing over here. I got this arch in, and I got the first mortar on that. Basically right around the rebar, and then a little bit more up top to start this funky feature. And, um, just getting some more coverage over here still working on this to drain the water is still pooling right there so I'm gonna do one more batch of mortar after eating and then I should be able to address that and I put quite a bit over here getting this feature started and then tying all this metal in over here and then doing some kind of like remesh on the sides and stuff so there's a lot of different areas to apply mortar and uh, so after eating I'll do one more batch of mortar and then I might get back to the foam. But there's a number of places where the mortar has to be done before I can bring the foam layer this way too far. Uh, but that's uh, what it's looking like now. And it's always kind of cool to see the ferro cement features come into, come into existence where it's just a, an idea and then a line and then a plane and then and then a surface with the lath and everything and then it becomes a real steel reinforced rock so yeah it's fun to do this one and then the uh, vertical rebar right here also is getting kind of like anchored into the bottom so that doesn't move and then that'll be the wall the goats also got in through this window or yeah through this window and went down this treacherous staircase for the first time earlier as well all sorts of Firsts for the day. <laughs> At first, they didn't like apples. Now they love them. <laughs> So by the end of the day on Tuesday, I got this second piece of lath up there and more kind of anchored in over here. So now that mortar piece is actually touching on the bottom. It's not quite touching on that corner, but more coverage there. And then most of the second batch went on to the ground or the floor here trying to help the slope and then which is pretty close but it's not finished and a lot of it went on the side walls tying in the remesh as well and then i got basically full coverage on this piece right here as well as some decent coverage on this side so i think tomorrow i'll probably be pulling that form and starting to mortar in the far side and it's been so dry for like two weeks I don't think there's been any rain the water reservoir is just about out I'm like scraping the bottom of the thing to get water just for mortar 
but now I think I feel safe about all of this that if it rains everything that I did here is going to be safe and um, the stuff over there is not going to be a big problem with getting rained on currently um, but my goal is to continue to bring this level towards me uh, at that plane of insulation I'm not sure exactly how far or where it ends but if I was going to insulate the whole thing, it would have to go basically right up to there. That's where the insulation stops. But then it's kind of like a a bend here. So maybe if I did like an angle, like there or something like that, that would make sense. Or something along those lines. But uh, I've got a lot more scrap insulation to pack into here. I've done a good job with a lot of it, but I've got some more down there that I've carried over. I've got some more over there, and then I've got a bit more out here. So I'm probably going to end up using all of it at some point, but it'll take me longer. So that's all for now. So that's the end of this week's episode. There's only two weeks left in the season after after this one. See you next week.